Hey everyone, it's Alex with alextucker.ca and today we're going to take a close look at ConvergioBot. We're going to build a ConvergioBot chatbot and we're going to look at the different options that we have with it, how we can customize each ConvergioBot, and then how to take a ConvergioBot live uh, when you're ready to do that. So, first of all, um, if I wanted to build a bot from scratch, I could go to my bots and then click on create a bot but I want to show you kind of a faster way to get going and this is available to you if you purchase the front end uh, offer or if you purchase any of the OTOs so you don't need to purchase any of the OTOs to get these chatbot templates um, maybe some of them I might have gotten uh, some bonus ones for purchasing an, an OTO but you would get at least some chatbot templates with the front end offer and uh, while we're speaking about that, if you want to get the, if you haven't purchased ConvergioBot yet and you'd like to, my link is in the description. It's the first link, and it should be something like alextucker.ca front slash go front slash ConvergioBot. So click on that if you'd like to get ConvergioBot. Um, and there's also a link to my website, which has a review, uh, uh, an in-depth review of ConvergioBot, and there's also a link to my video review of ConvergioBot. So check those out if that's what interests you, but if you want to see how to actually build a chatbot and how to use ConvergioBot, then this is the video for you. So anyways, I'm in the chatbot templates, which I accessed using the left-hand side menu. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different templates here, but I'm just going to start with a really simple one because we're just going to build a simple, quick chatbot. So let's say we wanted to build a chatbot for people to contact us. So maybe we've got a contact form or like a contact us page and it's not getting a lot of entries. Uh, people go to it, but they don't fill out the form. So we want to soup it up with a contact us chatbot. So we can preview the template right here and talk to the bot a little bit, uh, but that's boring. I already did that. So uh, we'll just click on use template and it says, do I want to use this template? I say, okay. And this is going to automatically load the template or copy the template and load it into the builder for me. So uh, as you can see, it's a pretty simple one. Uh, if we just click on this first node, then it opens up and we can see what it says. So it says, hello and welcome to Anderson Inc. Right? So we'll say, welcome to alextucker.ca. And we'll call this bot AlexBot because I'm not very creative right now. And we'll just leave everything else what it is, like how it is. Um, or maybe actually I want to get rid of one of these options because this is actually a more complex chatbot than I need. So I'm just going to click on save for a second. Uh, see, it has uh, the question, do you have a question you'd like me to forward to one of our experts? And then we have yes, and then there's a question, or, or rather we have, let's see, um, yeah, we have yes, and then there's a question, or we have no, and it puts them directly in contact. Um, so I can actually probably just get rid of one of these, which is to say I can just close that, and that's going to delete that entire option. Okay, so now I just need to change a few of these things. So rather than saying I'm here to help you find what you need, I'm going to say uh, R you trying to get in touch with Alex. And then I'm just going to remove this message down here. And I'm going to change the, or the user response can stay the same. And yeah, that's perfect. So we'll just say continue and save. So as you can see, there's only one path for them to take now. Um, so I can delete these. Which is just, I'm not going to delete them all because it would take me a while to get through them. I'm just going to delete the ones I can see. And then I can set up a new path on this side. So to do that, I would say add a block, and it's going to put one in right there. And we end chat. We can add the share icons there and save that. So now if we preview it, it says, 
Hello and welcome to alextucker.ca. I'm AlexBot. Are you trying to get in touch with Alex? If they say no, then it says, OK, thanks for stopping by. And they get the option to share. Now I'm just going to close that and preview again. This bot is very polite, just like me. So we'll say, yes, we are getting in touch with Alex. Would you like him to call you? No. Would you prefer if he emails you? Yes. And there's the email capture. And you can see it's got the automatic uh, GDPR compliance in here, uh, which is awesome. And I mean, that's pretty much the whole thing. I don't even need to put my email in to really show it. So now we're just going to go through some of the other options really quickly. Uh, so basically, under design, uh, you can alter the background, first of all. So right now it's a solid color, it's just white, but we can make it a gradient or an image. So let's quickly make it a gradient. Um, see if there's one that uh, looks okay, doesn't hurt my eyes. Uh, that one actually looks kind of neat. So we'll go with that for the background. And then you can also change the message bubble. It's got a few different shapes. I kind of like that one. The bot message background color. Uh, we're going to leave those as they are. And the user message background color, text color, and text font, and si or sorry, font and size you can adapt. We're going to leave those as they are as well. And the bot design, you can move the widget bot from left to right on the screen. Um, you can give him some overlay text, so maybe he's saying hi. And text to display after the bot is closed. You can have him say bye. Why not? The notification count. Uh, so you, I guess you can have, I guess, hmm, you can't get rid of that maybe. But you can have more than one notification, so you can add more urgency for people to check there. And I really like some of these bot designs that they have. Um, this is the one that I use for BreakerBot, so we'll use this one, that's kind of cool. And so that's pretty much the design tab. And then settings is actually where you can change the name of your bot. So we'll say AlexBot, that's what I called this one. And then this is where you can do all of the advanced settings depending on which of the OTOs you purchased. Um, let you look at that on your own, I suppose. And then the Publish tab is where you can get a live link or where you can get a code to embed the bot. And then basically you would want to uh, come back here and click on Launch, or I guess I could have clicked on it there. Just click on Launch the bot, and then uh, you'd be able to set it up. So that bot has been launched. And if I come back here to my bots, uh, we can see there it is. Contact us. It's currently on. I'm just going to turn it off so that it doesn't waste server resources. And anyways, that is a Conversio bot in a nutshell. That is how you build a Conversio bot and also a brief look at how you set it up. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Anything you want to see done with Conversio bot specifically, I'd be happy to demonstrate for you if you've got uh, something you're curious about before making a purchase. Uh, again, uh, check out the links in the description. They go to uh, my affiliate link for ConversioBot as well as my review on my blog post and my review on YouTube. And if you want to get more great videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'd be happy to communicate with you further. So. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.